guys just a little disclaimer i have no idea if this is true if this video is true or not um if it is let me know in the comments below if you guys know anything about the calibration system and razor and if you guys have the best synapse settings let me know in the comments below but like i said i have no idea if any of the stuff i'm saying in this video is true i just thought it was really cool and i wanted to share it with you guys so yeah yo what is up youtube welcome back to another video today i'm going to show you the best synapse 3 settings for your razor viper mini razor viper ultimate or pretty much all the razor mouses boy if you don't get <laughs> and before we actually get started don't forget to like and subscribe. It's literally free. And don't forget to subscribe to my team, Team TRG. And yeah, let's get it. Oh, and before we actually get started, there's a new feature or um, option in the, today's um, Fortnite update. If you go to settings, then you go all the way to the setting gear over here and scroll all the way down to building. There's a new option called disable pre-edit option. A lot of people have been wanting things for a whole, like for a while, and I'm pretty sure this will like disable pre-edits, which is really good for comp players and all that. So yeah, just letting you guys know that, and let's get this video started. All right, guys. So here's a clip of the new pre-edit option. So I don't have it enabled. We're just gonna like test it out before. Like you can make pre-edits, right? Wait, that was edit on like that, and then place it, right? pre-edits but once we go into settings to the gear option and then enable the new pre-edit um disable pre-edit option and then try to i gotta reset it hold on hold on hold on all right guys so now that i reset it now look i i like i'm clicking my edit button but i can't edit it hold up like if you guys can hear my mouse right now I use right click to edit and it's not it's not pre-editing or it's not like in ed the editing mode yep so they completely disable pre-edits which is amazing I'm super happy that they did that yep this is amazing now let's actually start the video all right guys so first thing you want to do is head to your fortnite creative um island in fortnite then open up your synapse then open up your synapse program and for razor and then you'll first pop up in the dashboard what you want to first do is head to the mouse section up here then click on the customize tab and pretty much all you do here is like um macros all that stuff like but honestly no one likes people using macros so i recommend not really using this tab it's not really that important and if we go to performance this is where you set your dpi your pulling rate and then your mouse properties so i'm gonna go through your dpi dpi is pretty much the number of dots per inch of mouse movement so there's five stages in the razor synapse program for my razor record mini uh, right now i'm on 800 i'm just testing her out i usually use 1600 or 6400 which is really fast <laughs> but i use a really low sense in fortnite so you know it's balanced set this back to 800 and yeah um you can test out which um dpi is better for you most pros use 400 and 800 between these two and yeah and pulling rate is pretty much um like how much the mouse will report back to your pc and then the monitor so a thousand is one millisecond 500 is five milliseconds and 125 i think is 10 milliseconds but i am not sure i don't you guys can let me know in the comments below but uh, yeah i use 1000 because come on now one millisecond is, is godly so i recommend putting on 1000 but usually it's um like your monitor might not be the same millisecond or like you know your PC has very high input delay, so yeah. So polling rate, pretty much what it does, since I have it set to 1000, if I were to shoot my shotgun at a player, it'll take one millisecond for that shotgun to shoot. So that's pretty much what it is. And then mouse properties, this is Windows mouse properties. So what you wanna do is open it, and then head to pointer options. And then in the motion section over here, 
make sure first of all make sure this is off this is mouse acceleration you want to turn that off um unless you like playing with mouse acceleration or you're just weird if you do but i mean i mean I, i'm not against you just turn it off all right <laughs> and then the pointer speed um uh, i use the default i i didn't really move this around i i usually i used to have it on like six i think somewhere around six but i use it on three um that was that's just the default and it feels really good comfortable for me and yeah then what you want to do is head to calibration not lighting this is pretty much the lighting on your mouse or like the rgb and all that so head to calibration this is the most important part in this whole video so as you can see i'm using default pretty much no calibration so the mouse pad i'm using right now is the luxcoms rgb mouse pad it's on amazon for i think 34 dollars right now and you could get like the aqua control plus for that price and i found like an artisan hand for 31 dollars on amazon which was crazy but yeah i recommend getting those mouse pads instead of what i have now and as you can see no calibration right so i'm pretty much using the like my sensor is pretty much using like um the features on my mouse pad so yeah it's using the, the smoothness of this mouse pad all that yeah if you guys don't know the sensor is really important um in fortnite because you want a good aim a bad sensor would not give you a good aim i used to play with a bad sensor and my aim was just horrific it was terrible it was my worst mechanic in this game everything else was good just my aim so yeah make sure you have a good sensor or good aim I recommend the Razer Viper Mini, by the way. So, all right, guys. So, back in the calibration tab, what we're gonna do is add a surface. So, we're gonna click this, and this is this is all of the Razer mouse pads that's out right now. I think I'm not sure, but pretty much what you uh, what this does is it uses your sensor and requires fine tuning in order to effectively use this pre calibrated Razer mouse mat data. So what I'm assuming is pretty much a theory for me, but what I'm assuming this is doing is calibrating your center to how this mouse mat feels like, like pretty much the performance of the mouse pad, right? So if I were to go for the Invict Razor Invicta speed, right? Which looks really bad, but I'm gonna use it instead. I would click calibrate first of all, and you can also click the product info to let you know more about the mouse pad and what it does. So I'm gonna click calibrate. The liftoff range is important as well. I think I set mine to six, so like I'm using some of my mouse pad, but I'm also using more of the calibrated mouse pad, right? From Razer. Also, the liftoff range also helps with some lift, like some liftoff problems, like if your mouse pad is not even on the mouse pad it like kind of moves right so if you set this up like if it's on one if it's not working just set it up to two if it's not working on two just set it up and it should work i don't think it works for everyone but yeah if you're experiencing tracking issues you may either reset your mouse or increase the liftoff range and this is pretty much how you set your mouse so right now I'm gonna use the Razer Invicta Speed pre-calibrated mouse map data in Fortnite and let's see how it goes. Hey guys, we're back in Fortnite and we're using the Invicta Speed. And I kind of feel a difference, but I'm not sure. I mean, this is only a theory. I Honestly, what I thought at first it meant was like, you had to buy the mouse pad and then click calibrate and it'll like calibrate the mouse for even like an even more precise sensing from the mouse but at the same time i'm also thinking it like helps you out you know like with some different mouse pads from razor because you could have like a terrible mouse pad and if you turn this calibration system on or like, you know, choose a mouse pad and calibrate could turn the sensing to a really good sensing for your mouse, which also improves your aim. So I'm using the Invicta Speed on a six liftoff range. And I mean, 
I feel really good. Feels comfortable and all that. If that's if my theory is correct, that is like amazing. Like Razor's doing that. Like that'll be insane, honestly. I've been using this for a while now and I feel like my aim has just been improving. Not that my mouse pad is bad or anything, but I just feel like the pre-calibrated mouse mat data from the calibration thing is just so much better for me. Alright guys, so I want to try this out in a solo match. I'm going to try a whole different mouse, mouse pad. So let's try... That looks cool, but... No, let's see, let's see. I feel like they also add to this, so I'm going to try the Razer Firefly Hard Edition. Now I'm gonna set it to 10. I'm gonna set it at 10. Let's see how that goes. Also guys, before I actually head to that match, I'm gonna show you guys the product info. So I were to go to the hard edition. Oh guys, once you select the mouse pad, it won't be here again to obviously, you know, do it again. So for example, let's do the Razer Akari, right? And we go to product info. It'll open up a tab in your Google Chrome. All right, guys, so we're now on the product info on the Razer website. So the Razer Akari is an ultra low friction gaming map for maximum speed. So pretty much what it is is maximum speed and glide, beaded texture, hard surface and large surface area. OK, so pretty much what it provides is a maximum speed and glide, which is pretty cool. And yeah, and guys, if I'm like if I sound stupid and like like Honestly, I feel like that's what it is. Honestly, like I'm not gonna even cap. Like if this is true and that's what it actually is, that could be game changing for most people. Like for me, that's game changing, honestly. But if you guys know anything about the calibration system and Razer Synapse and I'm tripping, let me know. All right guys, we're heading Hunter's Haven. And yeah, using that Razer Firefly Hard Edition on 10 liftoff range. There we got our first kill. Gonna take that. Oh my. <coughs> okay, next match. All right guys, so we're heading Hunter's Haven again. And yeah. Oh man. Didn't land exactly on there. Get this pistol. Oh my, did I really miss all my shots like that? <sighs> Them tears, bro? Come on, bro, you gotta get you together, boy. Them, oh, the interception, I wasn't even playing. I was wiping your tears off, bro. All right, guys, so that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode of Kluthai. <laughs> and um, honestly, I, I believe that all this stuff I said was, it, it's a theory, so I don't believe all this stuff I said was true. I don't know i just felt like my aim improved from this whole system of calibration and all that but honestly i believe you have to like buy the razor mouse pad and then calibrate it and then like you'll make your aim more precise the sensor more precise and all that so yeah all this stuff all this like stuff i put in this video and everything might just be like a whole lie i don't know if you guys know just make sure to put it in the comments below so i know and yeah Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and subscribe to Team TRG. It's been your boy Clutai and I'm out. Peace.